Hey guys, it's Dustin for 737. Uh, today we're gonna learn how to tune your call. Uh, this is the call I ran this season. I'm just gonna change the cork and change the readout and show you how we do it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take the read that you're gonna get from our retune kit and find the natural bow of that read. Just put it in between your thumb and your finger, pointer finger there, and lightly press it and it'll show you the natural bow of the read. The natural bow of the reed is gonna go against the tone board. So you're gonna put it in there against that. The main thing here is to make sure that the reed is squared up in the cork notch. Don't let it roll over in there, that's gonna cut off air. So what we do is we hold it in there with our thumb. We get our little piece of cork, lightly chew it, just put a little moisture in there so it'll slide down. Push it in there, square it up. Make sure everything's nice and square. Gaps even on both sides of the reed. Cut the excess off. And then one thing you can do is you can kind of use your old reed for reference on lengthwise. Um, so if you like the way it sound, we'll just go ahead and reference that same length. And we'll start cutting it. So when you're tuning a duck call, just the most minute cuts make the difference. I'm talking about a fingernail width. So I'll start there. What I like to do is have a starting point. I'll blow it. If it feels stiff, I know I need to trim a little bit more off of it. And if it's too easy, I know I cut it back too far. So I always like to start a little bit longer than work my way down. So I can tell that that's just a little bit stiff. I'm gonna take just a sliver off of that. So you can see it's just a hair width. run it through all the different aspects of calling, the feed, the high end, the low end, 